right, so it's been a, another turbulent week. Um, the FTSE uh, in intra-week lows traded down to 4,700. If you have a look on the chart here, as you can see, um, the UK is there, half a basis point, um, and the US is between naught and half, so a quarter percent is a kind of indicative rate on here. Um, and as I say, they're planning on keeping those rates um, specifically low for um, the dur duration of the next couple of years. Um, over the past week, we've seen the VIX spike dramatically. Um, this is essentially an index that measures the volatility on the S&P um, options. Um, back in uh, the collapse of Lehman times, we saw the VIX spike up to um, the 80 level. Um, and really, ap apart from a bit of a sell-off last year when we started to see concerns in Greece um, and Portugal, we haven't seen the VIX trend much above 30, 35. Um, but as you can see, uh, intra-week yet again, we've seen the index here spike up to 50. Um, this has led to um, vast moves in, in share prices. Um, one of those shares specifically um, has been SOCGEN. If you look on the chart here, you can see um, this is basically um, over the last couple of months. Um, it's been a, a, a solid tracement down, um, but specifically over the last three, to three days or so, um, there's been numerous rumours um, doing the rounds. Um, SOCGEN's been the main bank um, that's been uh, touted as being in trouble. They've come out now um, a day or so ago um, confirming that they are facing no issues. But this has led to um, a number of um, European countries introducing a short ban overnight on financial stocks, as we saw in the UK and the US um, last year, uh, sorry, back in 2008, apologies. Um, so we've got Spain, France, Belgium and Italy who have all introduced this financial shorting ban. Um, it's led to a, a, a bit of a bounce this morning. Um, so SOCGEN, which was down 15 um, percent or so um, two days ago in intraday trading um, is trading up about six percent today um, and you can just see the uh, tracement there back on the back on the chart up to the, the kind of uh, mid 22 and a half levels just um, moving on to our favorite thing at the moment which is the Italian um, 10-year bond um, you can see here um, after the announcement um, last uh, over the weekend that they were uh, the ECB were looking to um, continue to provide support to this the yields have dipped back from the, the high levels of six and a half percent and have been fairly constant for the last few days um, around the five percent level the there's been a, a continued push into into gold over the um, over the beginning of the week, but um, actually since we've seen a, a bounce back in equity markets and since the um, increase in margins on the CME, um, we've seen a, a drift off in gold prices, which is, which is perfectly understandable. The number of speculators that are in this market at the moment, um, any increases on, on margins, on, on geared products can, can make a material effect to, um, to, to, to the prices here. Um, if we just move on to um, kind of a, a few more stocks, um, Apple um, actually became the largest company in the world this week. Um, despite them coming back from $400, um, they've held up far better than a lot of companies, trading around about the um, 370, 371 level um, as of last night. And just to, uh, just to end with, um, the Swiss franc came under a lot of pressure against the dollar um, late last night after the US close. It was down about 5.5%. And this was because the Swiss National Bank wouldn't come out and, and deny rumours that um, they are looking to peg the Swiss franc to the euro. It's been a phenomenally strong currency, especially against the dollar. Um, there's been a number of trading institutions, Glencore, for example, Cargill, that have moved over there and got their headquarters over there. And um, there's been a lot of a lot of pain felt by um, employees over there who have been paid in U.S. dollars and unfortunately not getting uh, particularly much value for their for their money over in uh, Zurich or Geneva. Um, but uh, ahead today, there's no specific. Um, big economic announcements are waiting. Um, so um, we'll have to wait and see what next week brings.